toxic shock syndrome scares the crap out of you because you probably don't understand what's causing it and what you actually have to be cautious of. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. So here's the deal. We have all learned that tampons are dangerous. Whoa, why are they dangerous? They're just like a little floofy cotton thing with a string on it to wick up your blood or in some cases we use them specifically to press the urethra so they don't leak urine everywhere too now the deal is that when you use a tampon especially if it's like more absorbent than what you need you can actually create the best environment for bad bacteria to do bad things what does this actually mean so the tampon itself is not dangerous, okay? The tampon is not releasing a toxin that is going to harm you. What's going on is that you have bacteria all over in your body, on your skin, and some bacteria, if they get to be too high in the amount that's in your body, can actually start to release a toxin, especially Staph aureus. So if you have a highly absorbent tampon, you will have more air pockets and sort of areas that bacteria can nestle into and proliferate, meaning like grow rapidly. And then if it stays in a little too long, it starts to throw out the toxins, which can make you go from zero to 60 real fast with illness, meaning like one minute you're fine, the next minute you're sick as SHIT, going to the emergency room and septic. So the goal of how to avoid this is if you use tampons, which can be done safely, you need to use not the most absorbent one if you're on a light day. You want to use the absorbency that is appropriate for your bleeding amount so that you actually absorb some of that blood and it's not just like a dry cotton swab that's in there for too long. And some of you may think leaving in an extra absorbent will buy you extra time because it's not overly saturated and why not leave it in for like 12, 14 hours? Don't do the other thing is that you got to change it. You know, technically not more than eight hours. You can use it overnight. Some people freak out about the idea. If you sleep for 16 hours, maybe not. But if you change it regularly, you don't give any just random bacteria that can hang out down there enough time to overproduce and then start to proliferate enough to shoot out the toxin that can make you super sick. So TSS, rare can be avoided if you keep regular checks on how often you're changing your tampons.